So I don't know what uh, a mustard plant looks like, but so we all know what mustard seeds taste like. Mm -hmm. What does mustard taste like? What do mustard taste like? Mustard seed, the <laughs> the plant. Uh -huh. I don't know. It's probably just like a plant, the chlorophyll. All right. You know where? Uh, what came first? Uh, Orange or the orange tree? The orange tree. You're right. Yes, sir. An orange used to be called an apple of the orange tree. Uh huh. You know that? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's interesting. It's weird. Yeah. It's like back a long time ago, um, most fruit that fit in the palm of your hand was called an apple. So it was an apple of something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? This is something that was brought up in the, like, one of the previous few episodes. Did we? Yeah. It was probably during I'm F I'm 99% sure, yeah. So, what am I going to say next? Well, uh, that's basically your point, that uh, the most things, most fruit that grew on trees were called apples. Yeah. So, the orange was the apple of the orange tree. Yeah. Okay. And the orange tree is the name of the tree. Yeah, you know what else though? Uh, a lot of grains were just called corn. Oh, yeah. Huh. You probably remember that from history class. Yeah. They were saying, like, corns. Corn was just, like, a whole bunch of different types of grain. And, uh... Well, I just learned in, um... In Japanese, uh, they use the same word for mouse and rat. That makes sense. I guess so. You know, but one's like a it... mouse and the other one's a dire mouse. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I guess it's, like, just a level two mouse to them. Um... And up until recently, and probably up until now, uh, a lot of different pastas are actually called macaroni. Oh. Like a macaroni product. Like go to yeah. a box of pasta or something, and not all the time, but most of the time, they'll say a macaroni product on it. Because oh. macaroni used to just be a catch-all term for back of gaijins to uh, oh, yeah. refer to different types of uh, pasta when they didn't Whoops. know what it was. Oh. Nowadays, it's just spaghetti for some reason. Around here. Like, I don't know about anywhere else, but most people around here will just call every type of pasta spaghetti. Yeah. I noticed, and it's annoying. I, I've never seen that myself. I get that a lot. It's like, I cook something, and it's like, oh, you made spaghetti, and it's rotini, right? Or pan, yeah. or uh, shells, those ones that I like. Uh -huh. Uncultured swine. Well, not, no one knows the names of uh, pastas. That's too much to ask. It's not spaghetti, it's spaghettini. It's different. Yeah, but it's still spaghetti. No, I actually... You fuck! I found out the hard way at Sobeys when I was trying to stack spaghetti, only to find out I was stacking spaghettini. Uh, and the spaghetti was beside it. Oh. Uh, yep. Typical newbie error. Typical. I did that in my first day too, kiddo. Don't worry. <laughs> Typical, typical white guy behavior. <laughs> Doesn't know the difference between spaghetti and spaghettini. Mm. Watch out, you're so dangerously close to the edge there. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't worry about that. I gotta worry about my health as people are just pummeling me into the dust. And I end up in 30th place. 30th place. 29th now. I mean, how does anybody get good at F Zero? I mean, no, I mean in the reality of the universe. Yeah. Because if you, you lose, you're dead. Yeah, you're gonna die. How do you have a chance to get good? <laughs> you just it's kind of just like work a, out. There's things like that in real life that freak me out. Like, how do you get good at uh, swallowing swords? Yeah. And things like how do you get good at like how do you not screw up? Yeah, I wonder swords. about that sometimes. Like, how did you get like, even with mundane things, like, uh, people who drive, uh, uh, garbage trucks into really tight, confined areas mm -hmm. and not screw up and then get the garbage bin and dump it correctly. Yeah. How do you get good at that? Somebody had to give you the chance to go in there and try it the first time yeah, and almost yeah. cause a million dollars in damage. How'd they get good? <laughs> I don't know how they do it.
How do you get how do you get good at being president of the United States? Just you can like, get reelected. That's one way. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you're there before, yeah. Yeah, well like if you if you do it if you get like get do elected all the, the time. first time. <laughs> I do it all the time, don't worry. <laughs> if you if you get elected <laughs> the first time and you're like Alright, we need to decide whether or not you're gonna lo launch every nuke um, right yes. now. Yes. What do you say? Yes, absolutely. No. And if you say yes, very then yes, everybody's screwed. Very yes. Yeah. I mean, everyone, people make mistakes. It's mm -hmm. it's a fact of life. Look at that! Oh man, that car in front of you was just like, like a little mosquito. Look, there was just no. It's just, there's the mosquito term again. Yeah. It's just flying around like there's no physics. It's just like ah, oh, just zipping around, nothing, no problem. Well, we transcended physics, obviously. Yeah. In this game. Jeez. Black shadow and first all the time. <laughs> yeah. I. Wait I just don't know. What, I don't want to know where he is. What are right the now. What is the goal for this stage anyway? Uh, beat it. But do you also have to beat Black Shadow, like kill him. If uh, that's it, we're not going to beat it. <laughs> yeah. I hope that's not what it is, because we're done. <laughs> we're done. I think you just have to get first place. I hope so. Because like, look at him go. Yeah. He's gone. So fast. Holy shit. Holy. Go from 4th to 13th in like a second <laughs> yeah. and then you get blown off the stage. Holy Give me crap. that. Yeah, go ahead. <sighs> Push it. It's the limit. Okay. Go in the lava. That's good. Hit a bomb. That's good. Alright. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta stop taking it easy and go full Nelson. Go full Nelson. I'm going full Monty. Here. Oh, uh, you're almost dead already. Ah, uh, you're dead already. I used to be better. I gotta try. I didn't have a chance to actually just play it yet. Yeah. But I'm trying. Rough shit. This is gonna be like episode 40 or something, I don't know. Oh my god, it felt like I went through this track there. I kinda wish it uh, had achievements so you could see like what percentage of people <laughs> actually beat the. It's probably, things. it would be absolutely nothing for this. Like, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, like something one like Bloodborne. Mm -hmm. Only 60% of the people got past the first boss. Yeah. That's crazy. Right? It's not that hard. <laughs> so... I know, that's insane. Like, uh... With this game, you know... The amount of people that would actually be able to finish the storyline is probably, like, 2%. Mm-hmm. Well, to this day, like, 40% of people beat Demon Souls. <laughs> that's... Sad. Yeah. Like... <laughs> not that bad. Oh well. Like, uh, there's shoot 'em ups on Steam. There's shoot 'em ups all over Steam. And some of them are obscure even for what they are. And, like, I imagine the, the achievements on that are just. Yeah, well, part of that's probably is because not that many people are playing, right? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, if everybody. Like, the thing about Dark Souls and things like that is that a lot of people play it. So yeah, it's a good like litmus my, test. My point is, yeah. those games are extremely hard. Nobody ever beats them. Yeah. I haven't beaten arcade shoot 'em up in my entire life, and uh, I, I wonder just like it's not a matter of what the percentages are, but how many are zero. Yeah. How many? How many have zero completion? Well, you know, else I mean, for a while there was nobody playing Battleborn. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> Battleborn. Oh, uh, I feel so sorry for that. Nobody was playing. I feel so sorry for Battleborn. I know. Oh. They got molested. I know. Oh. It just came they out. Were... It was just like... 
what what was the point in time that they realized they were up against Blizzard? Like thing? immediately, they <laughs> just they were thinking like, look how good we did with uh, Borderlands, and they were insulated against failure for so long with mm-hmm. Borderlands because people were buying it for some reason. Yeah, they're like, hey, yeah, fuck it, let's do this uh, hero shooter thing. Yeah, this is cool, and then like serendipitously, like Blizzard announced their version. Like, Fuck. What are we gonna do? We have to finish it. We're <laughs> yeah. too far along now. So they just released it. Hope for the best. And now it's free to play. Yeah. Like a month down the line. <laughs> oh I <think>. my <laughs> god. I didn't have a chance. I'm doing good. And I'm almost dead last. Mm-hmm. I think I'm doing good. I feel like I'm doing good. Except, as soon as they were talking about it. Now, nah, well. <sighs> Come on, step it up. You're too slow. It's just like Battleborn. Like. It's like. You're in gym. And they're doing those things where you can pick, like, who you want on your team. And, uh, you're last. And, uh, you end up, uh, getting picked after the retarded kid. (laughs) (laughs) I've been picked to be on a team before after the guy who was in crutches. Before. (laughs) Couldn't do anything. Yeah. (laughs) It's like that. Yeah. Oh. Imagine it feels the same way. It's like we're just. This thing we worked on sucks. I hate the feeling of a. Uh, I get when I play a game, and all I can think about is uh, when exactly the dev team realized they uh, were what they were making was bad, and they just stopped creating the game and started finishing the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when that exact point was. Sometimes you can feel it. Uh, like yeah. the exact point where they were like we need to finish it now because we know it's no good because uh-huh. uh, all those bad games that you left to shit on somebody made them <laughs> yeah uh, yeah lots of people made them I had to work on these things I had to work a lot on these things <laughs> yeah it, it uh Bad games feel a little different than bad movies, but it's like uh, bad movies are more obviously bad than bad games because games are well obviously more involved and they, it's easier to screw up. So like you can really you can really like uh, bust your ass making a game and it can still end up bad, like in. Uh, Oh, like No Man's Sky. Oh, that's sad. No Man's Sky is a sad case. That's sad. Like that's I'll be that's honest. actually ambitious. And I'll be honest. I I knew it wasn't going to be that good, right? Yeah. I said it years ago, right, to somebody who was really hyped for it. And I was like, it's not going to be that good, because yeah. I just know the signs, right? And that was you were with me there that time. Oh yeah. And uh, I said it, and I was just like, you know, I I thought it was going to be bad. But I didn't think it was going to be like this, I'll be honest. Like, I thought it was just, I thought it was going to deliver on its promises, right? Yeah. But I didn't think it was going to be fun. Uh-huh. Because I, I don't tend to like games that are, you know, as wide as an ocean, as shallow as a puddle, right? Yeah. That's not my thing. And I know those things are on the way out, uh, thematically and, uh, mechanically, in terms of video game, the video game industry. Mm-hmm. Um... So I made that prediction, but I didn't think it was going to be not only not fun, but also not controversially controversially not living up to its promises. Yeah. Right? And uh, even going as far as to, in some countries, being eligible for lawsuit for false advertising Mm -hmm. and being investigated for false advertising. Yeah. Because every time somebody asked if there was multiplayer, up to and on the day of release... Mm-hmm. Sean Murray just said, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. "It's kind of, 
kind of, but it's very rare. Yeah. And it turns out there isn't... Yeah, they did. That mechanic just isn't yeah, in the game. they decompiled the game. It is not in the game mm -hmm. in any way, shape, or form. And the people were diluting... The hype was so... It's a case study in out of control hype. Yeah. No Man's Sky. Without a sobering voice to come in and say, you know, this might not be what you want, guys. Calm down. Yeah. No one said that. And I think that was part of Sean Murray's marketing idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's let him go crazy. Ooh, I'll yeah, pop yeah. onto the Reddit now and then just to see how insane people are getting. Uh -huh. To the point where they're talking about what they're going to do in the game before it's out. Yeah. You can't, that's not something you should do. The guy, like, you just like just uh, him as a uh, as a figurehead for his company. He just didn't know what he was doing, and yeah. he, he didn't really understand the consequences of uh, yeah, every little thing he said. I realized it after with it's just something slimy about him. I don't know. Yeah. I don't really like him anymore. Like he's like a it. it he seems like a habitual liar. Just like a, yeah. this sort of half innocent type that doesn't yeah. quite see what he's doing. Like another and developer from that area of the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's <laughs> legendary for lying. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, like I said, I thought it was going to be um, what it was supposed to be, but not fun, but it turned out to be worse than I thought, which is interesting. Yeah. Uh, and, like, it it works. And it, uh, it's just, it has all the things, like, the, the it's it not, consists of what it's supposed to. The first it, thing I was saying—it's hard to describe. The, the first thing I was saying as soon as it was announced is that all the planets are going to look the same. Yeah, and right? they do. There's not that many, you know, differences. Uh -huh. But I also didn't think that. Uh, what really? I didn't think it was going to be barren. Is what uh -huh. I'm supposed. Is what I'm trying to say. I thought it was going to be like something to do at least, not like. I mean, they don't even have you know, stars or anything. It's just, it's literally planets that are floating in yeah. amongst one another. There's no solar systems. It's the stupidest interpretation well, of not, space. It's not scientific either. Well, it's just not fun, though. It's just mm -hmm. like, oh, there's planets just floating around, and space is pink. <laughs> yeah. It's just, uh, yeah, it's... That's, I don't know, that's subjective. That's just not my thing. But, yeah. uh... I got the distinct feeling that it was going to be more grand than that. And if, I really... You know I, what I mean. I really don't like the design of the uh, monsters, too. Or the creatures and stuff. Well, they're, like, kit, they're uh, what you'd call uh, kitbashing. Uh, kitbash is uh, a word people use. Well, I learned it from Star Trek fandom. Where people oh. uh, make up their own ships, right? Mm -hmm. By uh, taking parts from other ships and mismatching them. Yeah. It's called kit bashing. And that makes sense in canon because that's what you do in real life. You'd actually take parts and try right. to make your own ship and all that stuff. All the animals in No Man's Sky are kit bashed from other animals. And that's just not how evolution works. Yeah, like you just end up with Lego animals where uh -huh. it's just like, Oh, I got a leg on top of my head. And like it's the, just like that's funny, but what the is big, the point? The big <laughs> huge uh cows with with wings yeah. that uh or like the, t the like wings that could have been fingers yeah. uh, that uh, somehow lift them off the ground. Yeah. And uh, like just strange little uh, like sometimes uh, they d sometimes creatures just don't have any procedural generation at all and just uh, are what they are. You know. Like yeah, it's they're, probably they're designed creatures. It's and that's that's particularly strange. Yeah. It. And, uh, well, I just don't like the I'm look just, of them either, because they, uh... I'm sorry. I feel sorry for all those people that were really, really into it. Like, because people were so hyped and so deluded that they were on Reddit talking about how they tried to do a meetup. Mm -hmm. Remember that? On some place. And they signed in at the same time and went to the same world or whatever. And they're in real time talking to one another outside the game, I mean, like in a message program. Yeah. And they were amazed that they met each other, but they didn't. They were just looking at where each other was supposed to be on the ground. Huh. And they were amazed that they met each other, but they didn't. They were so deluded. 
Whoa. They were talking about, like, I can't believe this is finally happening. I met him. And on one guy's game, it was dark, like nighttime. Mm-hmm. And the other guy's version, in his instance, it was daytime. Well, maybe they maybe they were... What, what they really meant was that they uh, had reached the same spot in the universe. Oh, my God. Because that well, is that is interesting, like the, man, the fact that know. the fact that it's not all uh, I'll see you random. In, I'll see you in Super safe. Mario World tonight after we're done. I'll see you <laughs> yeah. in One Dash Two, okay? Yeah, well. As long as you call me and tell me where you are, mm-hmm. and then I'm doing it at the same time. But it's like, multiplayer. <laughs> it's really. <laughs> like, I almost so, got to that power pad thing too before I died. That is something I like though. That uh, it does save some stuff. Mm-hmm. So that uh, people can access the same content, if like they they, uh, I don't know what the criteria is for uh, actually, you know, deciding which ones get named, but or I mean get uh, saved to the server, but I don't know. Yeah, he talks. Seems to like, happen. Back when the game was first announced, he was talking about like things like. Um, designing your own ship and then naming that ship and then other people could buy that ship that put that name yeah no no none of that's no there. customization of ships. there's one type of ship and that's mm-hmm. your ship and there's no other ships and there's no big battles mm-hmm. and there's no nothing and there's nothing and like he'd be on an inter- interview and they'd ask like can you fight other players and he'll say mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Like, just totally. Uh, like, it's just like, can you? I'll ask the most specific thing. Can I uh, break down my gun into parts and then combine it with other gun parts, name that gun, and then sell it in the in game economy, and then do that to make enough money to buy my own planet where I build a castle? Sometimes. <laughs> That's the. No Man's Sky marketing. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a huge priority, but it's there. <laughs> just lie about your game until the last minute, and then just go radio silent. Mm-hmm. He hasn't made a post on Twitter since August. Yeah, it's gone. There's no hyperbole. There's either. the game. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's sixty dollars too. And later on, people were saying, "Oh, that's just Sony that did that." Nope. We've, actually, no, it, it, it was the so, other day. Yeah. It was the other day that came out in a news article. Did you yeah. read that? Yeah. Saying that, no, Sean Murray wanted $60. Oh. Because that oh. game almost would have been acceptable for $10. You know, just as a fun little... It's, I mean, oh, yeah, honestly... it would have been totally acceptable. The content that's in it is no more amazing than your average, you know, PlayStation Network exclusive indie game, right? Like, it's no more amazing than those games, right? It was hyped up to be, but it's not really. It looks like something that would, under normal circumstances, be announced and come out six months later for $15 on the PlayStation Network, honestly, like Journey or something. Mm -hmm. It it has vibes like that. It doesn't have, like, a big AAA kind of epic $60 vibe like it was trying to have. Oh, well. It's just bad year so far yeah like like sad stuff happening yeah i mean no man's sky i find it sad i find mighty number nine sad yeah praying battleborn is sad in a funny way that's just oh man it's like sad and uh, battle like the only thing the only thing wrong with that game is the timing of its release yeah i know battleborn if that came out five years ago it'd be a big deal uh, Battleborn's funny and, and it's funny sad in the way that you laugh a little bit when someone falls downstairs. Yeah. You laugh for a little bit and uh. <laughs> then you find out that they broke both their legs. <laughs> so you, well, it is a l- it is still funny, but yeah. uh, maybe not. Maybe don't laugh like in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So far, Doom has been good. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I mean, SMT4 Apocalypse is probably good. Uh, 
few other things are probably good. I just didn't get them. Mm -hmm. Final Fantasy 15, I hope, is good. Uh, that's it, really, to the end of the year. Yeah. Speaking of Doom, um, I, well, uh, I think uh, Gabe Newell said a while back when he was when he was going to start uh, making Steam OS and stuff uh, that uh, Linux and open source was the future of video games, and we see now that thanks to Vulkan and OpenGL, mm -hmm. uh, like we can achieve like amazing things somehow. Mm -hmm. Like it just uh, Doom Four can run on a freaking toaster. Thanks yeah, to Vulcan. I, I think maybe... So maybe it is. Maybe we're hitting maybe this... Maybe he was right again. Maybe we're hitting this era of uh, diminishing returns graphically, but uh, being able to run it on retroactively weaker and weaker systems due to different APIs. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. Like, uh, okay, let's not... Tr like, the graphics are as good as they can really be for our to fit into our work parameters, right? Mm -hmm. So our work per graphical quality is optimized to the point where we have just enough time to make the game look just as good as we need it to. And then let's just say, well, let's optimize it a lot and then someone will come out with an API third party that will make our optimized game be able to work on a computer that's a generation behind. Yeah. That's really weird. That's, like, where we're at now with PC gaming. Mm -hmm. but. Well, I mean, the the philosophy of uh, open source shit, where, I, I mean, the only downside to this whole thing is that uh, you can't make a money off your product, and that's a huge, like, thing, but, uh, you know, if you, if you have, uh, if you give people enough freedom to just tweak your, your, uh, well, just make a mod. It's like the mod scene, right? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I mean, like, um, you have OpenGL, and then uh, anyone can just. Uh, I swear, I'm falling through the stage. <laughs> I swear, it looks like I'm going through it. Almost. It almost looks like that. But um. But yeah, if if games were open source, this is what I'm saying. If games were open source, then we would have, like, all these games that uh, run perfectly on the shittiest of hardware, no, to, to what, but you would know, have within, absolutely no... Within limits. I can't go forever. It's not possible. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. But they would have no design or, um, or intellectual property I or think, anything. Uh, well, I think that uh, it's just, in terms of making things open source, as far as I'm concerned, it's just like... There's no such thing, like just how like uh, non-open source concepts are a spook, like they're not real. Like uh, if you just make a platform where you say I don't care what's on it, right? <laughs> Is that open source? Well, it doesn't matter. Like, who, you know, if you make something open source and it goes on there and people like it, great. If you make something that's not open source on there and people buy it, great. Like, <laughs> if you're open source and you want to sell it anyway, it doesn't matter, great. You know, I think uh, eventually people will just settle on whatever part of it's the best. Right? Like, I yeah, don't I don't think you should have, like, uh, the way Steam is, I like the whole green light thing. And yeah, it sucks that there's a million games just, like, taking advantage of it and crapping together uh, <laughs> some... Uh, uh, friggin' Unity engine assets and then selling it for, like, a dollar. That sucks, but then again, people are buying it. How do you get them to stop? I don't know. <laughs> I think maybe it's better that to have the open platform uh, and put up with those things than it is to not have it. Mm -hmm. 